Hi y'all, so we're going shopping, kind of, and we're trying some stuff from H&M, and we brought Margo. Margo, can you not say hi? <laughs> <laughs> She's my shopping partner, always. Okay, where you want to go first, H&M? Yeah, just like a return this one. I want to say H&M is someone on the first floor, but let's go see. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, look at that Nike jacket, it's fire. Right here. Paris, this one. London, this is fire. JD's worldwide I ain't gonna hold you. To and it's on sale for 110? What? Nobody wanted it? I like that. That's fire. Oh, and they got black? This is cute. Oh, that is cute. Look, and they got black right here. You don't think this is fire? I like it. Jacket. Trying to get her to convert to Chicagoism. <laughs> Why you put you made it like kind of low? Let's look. The rim is so curved. The what? I mean, you can uncurve it. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's really curved. And it's too black. Like it's too black. I need the white in the white side. Okay. You know okay. Look at the good girl. Ready? Where'd you get it? Oh, right there. I don't know. I want to go back and look at this. You know, I love this color. And it's on sale. Excuse me? And it's on sale. But I still don't like the sale price. $160. I like the fake Romero's. I got the real one. Oh, I got the real one right now. Oh, uh, let me show y'all how muddy. Wait, let me show y'all how muddy. Yoli's, uh... Oh, dog walk. Yeah, she, uh... She really did a number. I wear, wear my shoes. I need to be looking at me some kicks while I'm playing. Shoot. Oh, look. Oh, those are fire. These kind of look like Asics. They kind of look like Asics, you know what I'm saying? Fire. I like that. Bomeros. The only thing is, is that they're all blue. Like, what am I gonna do with that? An all blue shoe. Look at the all. Oh, I, I like these. These are nice. Y'all like them? What y'all think? These are fire too. I like that one. I'll hold you. Those are fire. Look at these. No, A6 are bad, bro. Can you see that? Patient girl. Thanks for shopping with us, Marge. We appreciate you. <laughs> Margo's making Marge. friends. <laughs> yeah. Marge making friends. She makes out with people's hands. She makes out with them? Yeah, I've been real into to these. I like these right here. Fire, fire. New Balance 9060. All right, right now we're looking for the directory so we can find H and L. And we found it. Let's see, H and L temporarily closed. You've got to be kidding. You're lying. H and M temporarily closed. Oh no. All right, um, Zara. It's a tragedy. Yoli already brought her little exchange stuff. So. Oh no. You wanna go to Nordstrom? Should we? I like Nordstrom. It's all in the opposite end. Should we park towards there? And the Zara's right there too. I ain't gonna go move the car. Oh, okay. What's wrong with Pete and Pat? You got your own marrows on. What in the Chicago is this? I'm just saying. Look at this. I'm assuming, I don't know if this is like Valentine's Day or Chinese New Year. There's hearts, y'all can't see. Let's see. There's literally hearts on the ice skating ring. But like, is this part of the Chinese New Year or what? Marge don't play, she waiting. I'm coming. Uh-oh. Dang, that's a brave girl. She's not new to this, she's true to this. I can't believe they closed 
close to H&M. That's crazy. We're we could really slide close. by the one by the house if we have time. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, out of the three clothes I have, this is some of them. Look radiant today. Do I? So what clothes are you actually trying to get? You said pants, right? I honestly kind of just go with my heart, I swear to God. <laughs> but what do you need? Because you're here for a month. Definitely more pants. But then I, I'm getting my Cole and Terry shipment soon. But even then, like, I just need more pants. I also need shirts to go. Like, my shirts, I bought a lot of t-shirts, like, for, like, lounging. But not anything for, like, if we're grabbing dinner or if we're grabbing... For tomorrow we have a podcast, like, I don't have anywhere for that. Yeah, you're right. So, so everything. I really just go for, like, something I like, and then from there, I, everything comes together. That's how it works for me. Yeah. Okay, so I love So she found some stuff. This. So where were the little, like, bralette underneath? And this can be worn casually, like, like, hey, I'm in the shop. And I love this, like, a coated sweater. Grandpa sweater I'm keeping, I love it. And then I'm also, like... If I don't do a graphic tee, I could easily do that with light wash jeans or dark wash. Satisfied customer. Like that's cute. Yoli already getting lost in my section. Every time. Like I like this instead of the flannels you have. Like yeah. that's an updated version of. Yeah. I know. <laughs> exactly. They, they uh, finally, we're here for the real reason. Jeans. Marge is tired of waiting on Yoli. She's been taking the longest to make a decision on a skort, this green one or that brown one. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get use out of silver. I think you'll get use out of both of them. Oh, I can't get this much. And like summertime shy ain't even hit yet, so right. like you're going to be able to wear it here in Texas and then do your thing with this it in the summertime. Cool, right? Yeah. All right, we're done at Zara. Headed to Nordstrom. We're gonna go see the cologne. If I see my cologne, y'all will never know if I if I use it or not. I like my cologne to be exclusive, mainly because everyone doesn't smell the same with cologne. You know what I'm saying? Like we could wear the same cologne, but it just isn't gonna have that effect on you like it has on me or vice versa but you know? people get so stingy about their perfume or cologne where they don't want to share what it is and i'm like girl you didn't, like i feel like share it and because it won't smell the same let them try all right i want nick to try this i think this is bomb hi margo and she said it's effing ugly i said it's ugly well oh, that's what it is effing ugly it's a remix but me, I can almost pull off anything. Go back for the camera, bro. Um, I'm obsessed. I like it. Yeah. It's fire. It looks good with the pants, too. And the shoes. The I mean, Nick, it does. If the shirt was a different color. We're, like, kind of sad about the selection because it's not much. I do want this one. Which one's that one? Initio. Side effect. Hold on. Dang, I'm already wearing Before Nick leaves the house, she does like it's seven to ten sprays, and it's not an exaggeration. Okay. Smell it, y'all. Oh, it's like spicier than what you usually do. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm I not like, a spicy one, too. I don't smell that. You smelt it the other day, and you were like, oh, this one's spicy. Did I? <laughs> you literally said it. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Okay. All and right, I'm so warm. you have one. But yeah, I, I want this one bad. It was spicy for me. I like that. But I like that kind of scent. This is too sweet for her. They have a cannabis that's like earthy. Dark rum, I love as a candle. I can barely smell it. Y'all try Melon Gets before? Smell this. Oh, I, I need to put this down. Smell which one, baby? Smell this. Mm. 
Did you mix two? No. I don't hate it. I like that for me. For you? Um, no. For me, dog. Uh, for me. That's for you. <laughs> Leather by Melanie Gatt. So I like mixing that with their cannabis. I love mixing scents. You like it? I like it. It has a uh, something at the end I don't like. This is the same one that I let you try on the smell of my wrist. It smells but different. But that's how it smells different on your body versus on this little piece of shit paper. I knew she was up to something because she kept looking me in the eyes, being like, "Smell it." Like I just smelled it like ten times. But all right, smell that together. Yeah. That's cannabis with leather. But it's good, but I feel like there's colognes that smell like that combination. And we're like trying to follow her. She walked like the long way around. We were just there and she went like all the way around this just to go right there. Smell it. Yeah. Okay, that's what I wear too. That's what you wear to the gym? Spice bomb. That's where you wear it to go to sleep? I feel like that's your like every day. You can wear that to it, go to the gym. Yes. That's not the same one, but it's one of those colognes that you just. All right. We did not go to H&M because it was closed. I think they're renovating. I did find some good stuff at Mango. Really cute stuff. And Zara was a hit. So I am here for all of it. Margo's exhausted. Nick is hungry. We're probably going to go get tacos after this. But, not bad. Yeah, I got some good stuff for the photo shoot. I did bring some things that would go for the photo shoot, so we'll see. This is making me look good. There we go. Business call. Yeah, look, <laughs> y'all don't even want to. I'll press record at the right time because she was over here talking that noise. I was trying to do an intro. I just, I don't know my intro voice yet. Go ahead and do it. What's up, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be like me. What it do, YouTube? It's Nick and Yoli. Back again. It's the day before. It's Valentine's Day Eve, and we are doing something a little different for Valentine's Day. Yoli and I have found a passion for cooking with one another. Specifically, she better not like cooking without me. Um, when Nick says a passion for cooking with one another, what she means is that Nick likes to take over the kitchen. <laughs> And I watch and like sometimes throw her like some salt machine. You know what I mean? Like I'm yeah. there for moral support. But we, I, I have a good time. I'm happy with it. And she likes it. So that's us cooking, cooking together. I see all the fellas walking out of the store with their Valentine's Day roses. They're with getting haste. ready. You know, they're hustling. Like I got to get these flowers. Got to get these flowers. Um, they are running up out of here. This is also our first Valentine's Day. Yeah, it is. Like I don't want all the flower I, I actually love flowers i take that back i will always take flowers but i don't want like the big teddy bears i don't need a big like special valentine's day card but i do like the idea of just doing something special especially yeah. together we're at albertson's right now and the the dish we have in mind is steak and potatoes because we both never have cooked steak before and we're like you know typically if we were to go out on valentine's day it would most likely be a steakhouse right true like or we, pasta yeah we probably go somewhere fancy so why not cook ourselves a fancy dish learn while we're at it get to know one another of course and you know just have a great night together cooking so i'm gonna do it a little bit different it also just tastes better when you make it yourself you know what i mean like yeah. you just are more excited about it yeah it makes you proud and all that yeah it. yeah you know so another recipe under the belt yeah so come with us to go get these groceries i'm freezing y'all i had the bright idea to wear this mesh ass shirt because we like filmed a podcast earlier and like yeah, it was cute, but now I'm freezing. We're about to be at the grocery store. You think because you're in Texas, you could be half naked in the wintertime. It don't work it's like not that. half naked, but I am cold. I mean, I see your skin halfway. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen this many men at the grocery, the grocery store. store. <laughs> okay. All right, where, what are we getting? Steak potatoes. and potatoes. I kind of want roses. Let's get them. I thought you didn't like roses. Oh, I love roses. You do? I love dahlias. I love lilies. She like all the flowers that nobody can get. <laughs> Look, it's named after you. Tutti Fruity. 
Thanks, babe. You might as well get those because it's named after me. If you put those back, you don't love me. Dang. <laughs> now I'm thinking, do we want the orange roses? But this has like, the tips. I think we're, uh, Let's orange. see. The orange is nice. I really like the orange. I know, right? Okay, so which orange? Also, which ones look fresher? I like. Are these? Now we're going to salmon color. Personally, I say that's more salmon, but I still love them. They're nice. They're pretty. Are we getting oh, them? my Take baby. Them. She's on a cycle. That means I just get to stare at her on Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> As if you don't run red light. All right, we're thinking we found a little bread we can make just like at the restaurants. You know how they bring out the bread first as the appetizer this or the starter. Real, this feels too skinny. It's a baguette. It's too skinny. It's nah, like, uh, get them French. Because then we can use it to make sandwiches too. This they got? It's huge. I'll be ordering seconds of bread at the... <laughs> don't act like you don't. I seen you in Mexico. Oh, you're obsessed. Truffle yeah. butter. Probably with the rest of the butters. I'm thinking the ribeye. Beef ribeye, boneless. Do you want or the New York strip? No, let's go with the ribeye. Ribeye is boneless. Be the best. Do you want one stick to yourself? Yes. Okay. Can we get uh, two of the ribeye sticks? Boneless. Okay. Am I tripping? Let's do our thumbnail. Kisses. <laughs> Thumbnail again. Yeah. Thumbnail again. I got and we didn't get it. Thank hey, you. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. And now she's doing the carts. We need truffle now. I know how to make it. Don't be gross. We need cream, but your baby's lactose, so we gotta do vegan whipping cream because I'll tell you what I will stink up a place if I have just too one? much dairy I think just one I think just one I think we have some at home I'm I just not sure right. y'all the abuse here is uncalled for butter. Really? Butter? my water burger that's crazy let me show y'all this, right this right here that's that split that's that split it's so good it's from the honey butter chicken biscuit. It's giving me memory right now. Okay, calm down. We need to find truffle. I don't think they just make it like what that. What I baby. see? Yeah, they I do. I've never seen it. Yeah, I've been maybe at Kroger's. But let me tell you, I just saw garlic butter. What about garlic? Garlic herb, olive oil. Garlic herb butter right there. Salted butter. We need, if we could get truffle oil, if we can get truffle oil, then we're good. Okay, should we get the garlic herb and butter? I don't think so. We don't want the whole butter to be that way. Oh, we're going to use a stick of butter anyways. That's what you're thinking? But that's for the... Yeah. Ooh, you want it? Bro? Yeah, because we're going to season it that way anyways. So I don't want a whole... Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Dramatic. Oh, I like decoy. I think we're going to go with bread and butter. Sounds good. We're gonna be having bread and butter, so sure. Might as well double up. <laughs> Gotta get a little TikTok action while we here. Y'all gonna see that video. Y'all is trying to hard to convince me right now. Frog and toad? No. Toad and frog? No. Frog and toad? Anyways, look at him. <laughs> Oh, don't show my bad deal. Well, it's him. <laughs> Yoli from Ultimato, how does it feel to bag your own groceries? Shut up. I work retail, so it makes it feel good to do it like a little, you know. Please touch except with New York white potatoes. $19.99. All right, quick trip finished. This is gonna be for tomorrow though. Did we even get any food for today? We do have leftovers. We do? Yeah, we do. From what? Thai food from yesterday. You have leftovers. Uh oh. Thank you, babe. We got the orange roses. Orange sherbet, if you ask me. 
it's so packed, everything falling out of our bags because Yoli's a bag girl. We have a bag tax in Chicago and in Seattle, and like we don't get plastic bags, so you have the paper bags. It's not expensive, but it trains you to not just put like three produce things in one bag. Like you gotta like be earth conscious. Oh, and so I am. And that's what's happening here. Where'd you get the Doritos from? My trunk. Oh, nice. You want that in the meantime? I don't. Well, maybe. Actually, I probably will. All right. Doritos it is. Full production going on in the kitchen. Yoli is making a little... Petals. Petal ice cube thingies she saw on TikTok. And so far, it's a fail, but we're still going. <laughs> they all go down the same way. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. They all go down the same. Right. Me, I'm about to start marinating this, our steaks. <clears throat> little bit of this, little bit of that, little bit of this, little bit of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'll let y'all know how it goes. We got Chef Nick. We actually don't know Chef Nick's name. Yeah. Wait, y'all see this? My name. <laughs> we don't know Chef okay. Nick's name. Well, I don't love that name for you. I like it. Yeah. Chef Dom. All right, Chef so Dom. Look, got the nice juicy ribeye steak bite. Marinating it right now. I wanted to marinate it last night, but uh, I forgot to buy this. But I had some, but it wasn't refrigerated and had already been open, so I tossed it out. You know, if you know me, you know that I don't play that. So. I threw it away, bought another one today, so we're gonna see how that hits. I tried making these rosette ice cubes that I saw on TikTok or Instagram, and I'll tell you right now, I don't think so. I just don't think so. Let me show you. Look at this massacre. The only one that could be almost a rosette would be this one, but from this angle, it doesn't look like it, so we're just gonna have ice, strawberry ice cubes, and it'll be cute. That's okay. All right, I think I'm gonna do this from memory, which never goes well, but I have trust today. Gosh. <laughs> I have trust in it today. I know will. this is how it's going. You know how it's not brown sugar? Do you want brown sugar? I don't know what the, the best difference that would be. That says brown. But you know how like I got the cane sugar and the, gra the granules are different? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I am not an expert in making that drink. Or any drinks, to be honest. So I'm slowly counting on the expertise of Yoli's uh, her alcoholism. All right, so it is melting right away. We're using brown, wait, it's not brown sugar. Brown sugar, but it's not cane sugar, and I don't know what the difference is other than one I've been using for baking and one I don't, so I guess that's a difference, but it's melting okay. It's sweet. I think it's fine. Me, yeah, I'm cutting up the Brussels sprouts back here. Told Nick she's ready to be a dad because her dad jokes are like. And then add your liquor. Oh, orange. And I need an orange peel. One, two, three of Angostura. Three dash the orange bitters. Oh, I don't have orange bitters. That's fine. Isn't that Angostura orange bitters? I think Angostura is mixed with something else. I think you actually bought the orange bitter one, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. One, two, three of Angostura bitters. We have rye. We're just gonna try it. <laughs> We're just gonna see what happens. A good splashy splash. We're gonna do one more because Nick likes to sweet of brown sugar. One, two, three. Is that how they go? Yeah. I saw it. Here comes the good stuff. We actually got gifted this at a Jack Daniels event. So, oh. <sighs> Nick's not feeling well, so we're gonna give her a nice dose of feel good. Thank you. Thank you. And then, these are our ice cubes from the Mavericks game that we went to. Fancy. Oh, that's like looking like a glacier. Oh, it has a mold of the Mavericks in the. It has a Mavericks mold. You can't see it. 
But it does. All right, that one goes in there. Let me see you stir. Well, this is not gonna stir. Okay. Yep, peel it by the two, baby. <laughs> and then I learned from bartenders to like clap it or set this on fire. Set my drink back. Ooh, they strong. also didn't have the right cherries, so we're really just doing the best we can with what we got. <laughs> Ready, babe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's strong. Hold on. <laughs> it's more simple syrup. Do you think you put too much alcohol? No, I don't think so. Old fashions, I feel like, are the hardest to make, so I'm gonna be a very good judge. Better. I think that one more of these just for good luck. Okay, babe, it's ready. I don't get my feelings hurt with stuff like this because I did my best and I don't like forget the rest. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know, I'll try again. But I think it's actually kind of all right. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad! <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> I would still drink it at the store. At the store. At the bar? At the bar, yeah. It's missing like a bit, like the bitter. I was gonna add one more dash of bitter. What do you think? Yeah, one more dash and do it. Nice! It's good. <laughs> Period. We're gonna do a one more dash because that's what the heart calls for. Wow. Brussels sprouts are prepped. I think, I think it was. You're kidding. It was better. What's that? Simple syrup. Homemade. One, two. That's good. Me. Good job. Me. Good job. You're a bartender oh, and a stripper. Sorry. Okay, literally, we forgot to close the vlog out, and <laughs> we like about to start grubbing. But there's a finished product, Brussels sprouts. I like mine a little bit crispy. I ain't gonna hold you. We smack. Good. We got the garlic bread. We got the steak bites and mashed potatoes. Got some wine. Got Margo. Mine right here. And I think, Your was drink? it a 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10 so far. Oh, it's yeah. delicious. Valentine's Day is a success. So it's been, it's a nice and intimate Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. To me, there's nothing like quality time. Mm -hmm. That's more important than going out and not really having a good conversation or spending the day together, you know. So, yeah, it was a good day. <laughs> Margo. Go, Mama. We're about to watch Vita. I don't know if y'all seen it, but it's definitely a Latina queer mm -hmm. show. So if you like the L word, check out Vita on Hulu. It's been a nice little series we've been stuck and locked and loaded on. Also, like, very tasteful <laughs> Very tasteful sex scenes, too. Like, they're not, you know, and I feel like that's what the L word did. Like, it wasn't, mm -hmm. like, porny. Right. Like, for the male gaze. It's very, like, this is how we be. Mm -hmm. and, and it's tasteful and sexy. We you like know? it. I like it. All right, y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm. <laughs> You're having me out.